Alrighty guys, we'll go ahead and make a, oh, I didn't even do the intro, welcome back to another Making a CSGO, no, Making a CSGO, Making a Game in Unity, my bad, wrong series. Anyway, we'll go ahead and create a scene and call this scene a menu, and we'll make a very simple menu in here just to basically start the game off, so we'll go ahead and create a canvas, oops, what am I doing, go up here, create, uh, oh no, that was the right spot, canvas, uh, and then go ahead and create uh, a button. We don't even need to, we won't even do a thing. We'll just make it simple start thing and then later on I'll make it look all jazzy. But for now, we'll just go ahead and make a button. We'll go ahead and go scripts, make a start menu script. Uh, start, oh, start button. Yeah, let's call it start button. Uh, boom, start button script. So here we just need to make a public button, a public void button, a public, public function to load, oh, load the level. So let's go ahead and go down here and go public uh, void button oh just yeah on click whatever it doesn't really matter what you call it and then here we'll go ahead and just do go ahead and add the using unity dot ui and using unity dot scene management so here we need to make a quick public button uh public button yeah public button and call it button yeah what a fancy name so this is just a public button where we can access whatever button we're making so here we just do actually i don't even know my bad take that back boys take that back because we're doing it on the button we don't even need that poor public so that's what i did there that would be if like this script is on something else and we need to access a button but we don't need to access a button we don't need to access a button so public void on click scene manager dot load scene Menu. Uh, no, 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 no. Level is what we call it. Level? Like that. I think that's what I call it. So, boom. Simple as that, folks. Simple as that. Simple as that. That's what I call it, right? Level with no capital? Le oh, shit. I call it capital. Damn it. So, change it to whatever your, your, your game's called. Whatever your game scene's called. Uh, and then go to your button. Go ahead and add that script. Start button. Go ahead and drag that on there. Come on. Get on there. And then go to on click, go ahead and add that, drag your button on there, go ahead and go no function, make that on click. And now, boom, we got a level and uh, the shit starts straight away. Um, yeah, so we've got it, so it starts straight away. So red and green, green, we got green, green and blah, blah, blah. Boom, I'm dead. Ah. So now we we'll go ahead and go to the game over and we'll make the high scoring, right? Let's make a high score. So what we've got to go and do is add a canvas. I'm going to make this fancy later, but we'll just do the function functionality right now. I'm not a designer, so obviously I'm not going to make it look beautiful. But this will be the text to add a high score. So we'll go ahead and call this high score. Enter. We'll go ahead and co copy and paste that and make this call it score. So this will be where the score displays. So your previous score, this will be your high score. So uh, again, make this, make this 40. And we'll go ahead and get that same stuff there. Same thing here. Make this 40. Same text. Expand this out. So we have makes it a little bit bigger. So now you'll have high score. High score. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to change this. I'll make it white. You don't have to change what this looks like. Same one with this. We'll go ahead and expand this out. Uh, and call this score. Put it in the middle. Because we want it right in the center. So no matter what the score is, it's always going to be centered. So like if it was like high score, 5 million, blah, 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 blah. It's not going to be like high score, 5 million, like, like this, for example. 5 million. Is it going to load? Oh, it's not going to go like that. It's going to go like, like it will center it, basically. <laughs> Didn't wasn't a very good example there. But it will center the uh, the high score. Anyway, so we've got high score. we got score. We probably should have score on top or on the bottom. I don't think it really matters. But this is what it's going to look like for now. Now we want to go ahead and make a high scoring thing. So to do this, we'll go ahead and go scripts. We can actually go back to menu because here we want to actually do all the, all the working out. So here we'll go. Ahead. Actually, I just need to get my high score script up so I can kind of look at it. I usually use the same scripts I've already made because I, I could probably do it off by heart right now. But I like to um, have something next to me so I can kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't even know what it is. Is it this is it this the one that's the score manager? Yes, it is. Okay, so we will go ahead and create a C sharp script and call it score manager. We'll actually call it the same one as that one. Score manager. It's the best way of doing it, basically. And open that up. Now we just want to import the same thing using Unity Engine. Load up, please. 
There we go. Usually using engine.ui. Um, and we'll make a public static. And we'll call this one uh, high score. We've already got score. Um, public static integer, sorry. High score. We've already got. Uh, we'll make a lowercase so it's easier. We've already got a score, so we don't need to worry about that. We've got that in the score manager. And then score.score. Probably should do this in the same one, eh? Probably make it a bit easier. One sec, guys. Forgot to delete the line that was here, so go ahead and just delete that. And we'll go ahead and actually put the score manager, the score, we'll make the score the uh, the score manager. So we can go ahead and put this in here, and we can delete the score manager. We'll go ahead and uh, delete that, actually, because we don't need that, really. So we delete that. Boom. Bye-bye. We don't need your score manager. We've already got one. We've already got one. So here, public static integer high score. So we can access this high score anywhere. Score. We'll go ahead and make it zero. Uh, actually, no, we won't. Um, we'll do that somewhere else. We'll go ahead and add public public static text. No, public text. I don't think... Was there a reason why I made that static? I don't think so. Score text. Uh, make a lowercase. Make it easier. And then public text. High text. So that's high score text, low score text, lel. Anyway, so what we want to do is do player prefs. Have you ever worked with player prefs? Most likely not if you've never done it before. But what player prefs are is they save a value and they load the value. So for example, I want to save a value of two. And then when I load the game up, it's going to say that value is two. So basically I could say, yeah, you know what I mean? Like it, it saves the value to your phone and then opens it back up again. So we'll go ahead and make one. Player prefs, simple as that. You don't need to include anything. Player prefs, player prefs dot get integer. And then we'll go ahead and call this one uh, high score. So here is basically what's going to be called a high score. So play guys, get in, high score. And then what we want is actually, before we go, we'll go ahead and add here, high score equals player prefs dot get in high score. So it's going to get the high score, even though we don't even have a high score at the moment, it's going to get that. So when we save it, it will go ahead and save that. So this is creating a player pref of high score. Uh, so when we save the high score here, it's like say we've got, let's say we've got a high score of 20. Here it's going to say high score equals play reps dot get in 20, basically what it's saying. It's going to get what the high score is saved at. But right now we've got no high score. Uh, I think that's actually what we've got in the script. Yeah, we don't even have anything uh, technical on here. So what we want to do is this is the menu high scoring thing. So what we want to do is put this on the menu. Uh, but actually another thing you want to do is make score equals zero. So it's always going to make score back to zero when you go back to the main menu. Uh, I'll probably have a thing. Uh, you can have it there and we'll probably put it here as well. Rotate people's. We can put it on here as well. Just score dot score equals zero. Just so no matter what, it's always going to put your score back to zero. You're not going to have like 15 score when you start with, which is just like a safety thing. So anyway, we've got score there now. Um, Go ahead and put that on the main camera. Just mm, wait. Yeah, we're going to put that on the main camera. Uh, should not. Okay, that's. Hmm, we got those high scoring things. We don't really need them because we'll actually put them on something else. So we can get rid of those text. You can leave them. It doesn't really matter if you have them on there. It's not going to kill you. Uh, but we should have no errors right now. Obviously, yeah. So now we want to go ahead and make another C script show score. So this will be the same script type of thing where this actually shows a score and stuff like that. So yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so here we go ahead and chuck those there. Go ahead and same thing using Unity Engine or UI. So now we've got those texts here, and here we want to do uh, do we actually save the score after? Yeah, I think we do, don't we? Um, or can you load it? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. One sec, guys. Alrighty, so we actually want to do on the score thing here, we actually want to make another player prefs. So, uh, player prefs, yep, dot set, uh, set int, um, and we'll call this one score. Uh, and what we want to do is make score equal to score. So, what this is does, it actually makes, um, it will then save score as a thingy. So, if you know what I mean. So, another way we can. So what it's going to do is when it says like we get game over, like in the scene, it's going to be like, okay, you got 20 score and then boom, game over. What this does is it saves, okay, save 20 score. And then um, on the script that I get the show score, we go ahead and want to do play pre uh, score dot score equals 
play a press. I think we can. I think we have to do this. I might. We might not actually have to do this, but I, we'll do it anyway. I don't think it hurts. Score. So this is just gets the score. Um, and then public. No, what am I doing? D take that back. Pu uh, score text. Dot text equals score dot score. So I think that's right. So we can go actually go ahead and try that. Uh, it should should be fine. So on the scenes thing on game over. Save that. Go ahead and add that script, the show score script on the canvas. Um, no, is it, I'm guessing there's an error. What's the error? What do we got? Can I implicit the int to string? What are you talking about? Score text dot get. Oh my bad. Equals score space plus. My bad. Sorry, Mr. Code. I didn't mean to hurt you. Didn't mean to hurt. Obviously, it's not going to do anything. Uh, score. My score, high score is not going to do anything right now. What else? Object set, not set to a reference. Doesn't matter. That's just a random error that always comes up and it doesn't actually really mean much. So now we will go ahead and go to menu. We'll give it a full run. Hopefully it should work. Go play, go button, blah, blah, blah. What do we got? We got green coming, green, red, red, red. And we'll go ahead and just let us die here. Green now it should say score four. No, it doesn't. Yay. <laughs> Wait, let's have a look. I don't know why. Cause something to do with score. Play proof sort in score score. Uh let me think. Let me think and let me think. Uh let me actually go ahead and open up the code that I had to do the other one. See what I've done differently here. Ah, uh, okay. That's what I did. So all I really need to do is just go score dot score. Actually no 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 no. Play a press dot get int score. So it's just yeah, there we go. So now we get, and then, yeah, score text dot score. Yeah, that should work, uh, hopefully. And then on show score, it should show score to score equals. Oh, wait, I mean, it was going to do play it. Uh, no, actually, that did it, didn't it? Yeah, that's no, that's right. Um, so yeah, let's give that another go. If not, I'll have to do, just do some quick testing to see why that did not work. So we're going, oh, no, wrong one. Okay, we did it. Good. And let's go ahead and get another score, and we'll go ahead and get game over here. Hmm, let me fix it. Gee, I wonder why it was setting score to zero. I wonder. Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck, why did I even have that there? <laughs> I don't know why that was there. Maybe that did it. Hopefully that was the reason why I did it. I don't know why it's score was zero there. I don't know. Did I add that there? Oops, if I did. So I'll go ahead and get a quick score. Um, and then game over. It should say two. <gasps> what have I done wrong now? Let's have a look. Alrighty, so I did the old make it complex when really it was really simple. Go ahead and get rid of the player prefs for show score of score, like the, the score we made and score. So basically all I really knew is I didn't even have to save that because it, it already goes over. So score.text.score equals score plus score. Um, and then I'm, you don't have to do anything. So really just, all you have to do is just get score. That's all you have to do. And it works. Uh, my bad. I forgot they didn't have to save that as player prefs because it actually goes over. Um, three scenes, so uh, we could, should be good. So score equals one. So obviously we don't have a high score yet. Doing the high score is quite, quite difficult. Uh, let's go ahead and get the scene where I made a high score. Uh, where have I got it set? Alrighty, so this is actually quite a bit of code here. So what we want to do is first off, we want to go ahead and do uh, score dot. Wait, where's our high score? Actually, we've got our high score set in score, right? Yeah. So score dot High score uh, equals play press dot get int and then yep and then the uh, what is it high score? I think that's what we call it, right? I think that's what we call it. Yeah, that's what we call it. So yeah, uh, I don't need high score equals play press. I don't need that in here. Uh, go ahead and get rid of that for now. I don't think I need that. Anyway, and then what we do is if score dot score is greater than score dot high score. So what it's doing is checking. So is score greater than the high score? If so, then we want to do is go we're just going to put it, go score <laughs> so much score score dot score. No, sorry, score dot high score equals zero, and then score dot high score plus equals score dot score. We getting that? We getting that, boys? Wow, a lot of scoring, scoring, score. And then we go ahead and do player press dot set int high score. <laughs> so much score. Oops, my bad. High score 
Uh, and then you want to set it to score dot high score. Mm -hmm. That should should realistically be right. Then you want to go ahead and chuck the old um, uh, sorry high score dot text. Ooh, what about high text dot text equals uh, high score. Uh, score dot high score. Yep. So that should be it. Um, hmm, yeah. That, hmm, yeah. That, 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 that better. Uh, there's always bugs. There's always issues. Yeah. Here we go. There's always issues. Uh, what have I done? I bet you I just didn't do something again. Something simple. High score. Dot, yeah. I always do that. Uh, high score. Uh, do I want to do high score? Nah. Uh, nah. High score equals plus score dot high score uh and now these capital i don't know just don't know, what, what looks right i think that looks right so now hopefully if we've done it all right the first go wink should be fine so what's the first one red green then green get a quick quick, quick score get a nice score uh four that will do so let's go ahead and die uh high score equals four score equals four so now when we die straight away it should have saved that to be four Boom, high score equals four. So just notice how we actually got out of the game and got back in, it saved score. So now we'll go ahead and try and beat four, which is very hard to beat four, right? Boom, 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 and then we're gonna rotate. Boom, then we need to get five. Can we get five? Can we do it? <gasps> we did it. All right, now we'll go ahead and die, IRL, and now six. So cool, we've got a high scoring system working. Yay, no issues. Hopefully you guys understood that and I didn't screw it up too much. There's always some, Little tweaks and stuff that need to be fixed, but we did it. So next time we'll work on maybe prettying up the menus and then um, making the game a little bit more fun. Maybe add some special things that happen. But yeah, I think we're basically nearly at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. How far to go? Everybody got the reason. Everybody got the way. We're just catching and releasing. What builds up?